Hi guys, my name is Tanmoy and welcome to another session of Study PPC. Today we are going to look at how to create a remarketing campaign inside Google Ads account. Remarketing is one of the strategies by which you can target people who come to our website and don't purchase for whatever reason. We can create this campaign to follow them on the other websites they go to and we try to entice them to click on our ads to come back to our website and purchase the same product. All right. In order to create this campaign guys, there are two steps which we have to follow. The first thing what we'll have to do is we will have to create an audience list and then we'll paste the remarketing code on the website. And then we go into the campaign creation and we create the campaign and we link the same remarketing list to the campaign. So let's begin with this process guys. So the first thing what we're going to do right now guys is for, we're going to create an audience list. In order to create the audience list, we have to go to tools and under shared library, we have audience manager. And here we will be able to create the remarketing list. As you can see with this plus button, we can create the remarketing list. The process is going to be pretty simple. We have to fill up a form and we, once we submit this form, it generates the remarketing code. We take the code and we get it pasted on the page which we want to track and then we create the remarketing campaign and we link this remarketing list to that. So let's begin guys. So once you click on this plus button, you have multiple options. So for today, I'm looking at website visitors and this is the form which we have to fill up. The first thing they are asking us to fill is the audience name. So we can give the name of the audience which we are going to track over here. Let's say for me it is laptop buyers. And then it asks for list members. So it's asking you what type of visitors do we want to track. So I'm saying that people who visit my laptops page would I would like to track them. So I will keep it as visitors of a page. And then visited page. Visited page means the system is asking us the URL, the specific URL of that page which we want to track here. So we can go to page URL contains and here we can give the specific URL. In this particular manner. And then we are coming to membership duration. Membership duration is basically the amount of time you're going to follow a particular user. So based on your business experience, you can decide for how many days you want to follow the user and you can put that. The maximum number of days you can give here is 540 days. If you're doing business in the European Union, then the maximum days would be 393 days. So provide the number of days as per your convenience and then we can create the audience. So now as you can see, my audience list is created, but my work is not yet completed. I need the programming code which we will take from here and we get it pasted on our website. So for the code on the left panel, as you can see, there is audience sources. So we go to that. And here in Google Ads tag details, we will find the code. So on this page, when you come to the bottom of it, there is tag setup. And here you get the three options of how you are going to install the Google Ads tag. So let's say I understand coding so I can go for the first option which will generate the code for us. So this is the global site tag guys which is primarily used for remarketing. You can read over here as well it says that this particular code is used for remarketing which we are going to use. We have to copy this code and paste it between head and slash head tags of every page of our website. So once we get this code, I'm going to give this to my programmer or I can paste it myself and then we go ahead and create the campaign for it. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to create a display campaign in which I'm going to link this particular remarketing campaign. So that will be my display remarketing running. And in the same manner, I'll create a search campaign wherein I link the same list for search remarketing. So let's begin guys. So the first thing what you do is you create a new campaign and since it is for remarketing so we are keeping the goal as sales and my campaign type this time will be display. I'm going for a normal campaign so I'm going to choose standard display campaign and we can continue and we start filling up the details for this campaign guys. So the first thing we have to provide over here is the campaign name. So you can give an appropriate name as per your requirement. 
you can give your location targeting as well then you can choose the language of your customers what they speak from the list provided here and you can set the bidding strategy since this campaign is built around sales and conversions the most appropriate will be maximize conversions so you can choose that bidding strategy by selecting a separate one out here and let's go with maximize conversions you can also give the budget for the campaign how much money you are willing to spend on this campaign on a per day basis and then we are coming into the ad group naming so you can give a name to this ad group now I am coming to the targeting part so here is where we are going to link our remarketing list so we need the manual targeting for that so we'll switch to manual targeting and now as you can see we are coming to people audience targeting over here so in audience targeting you will you can go to browse and that is where you will find remarketing option now if you read carefully you can see on the fourth option which is how they have interacted with your business you can find the remarketing option and if you remember in the first step when I was creating the audience list I had chosen website visitors so I'm going to select the same thing once again and here I'm going to look for the option which I created today so as you can see this is what I had created laptop buyers and now I'm linking it to this specific campaign this part is very critical guys that we need to link the proper audience list with the campaign only then the remarketing campaign will work properly once this linking is done correctly then we can move ahead and fill up all the other details we can give demographic targeting content targeting if you want to do okay or we can straight away come to the ad creation process so this will be a pretty simple thing wherein we have to just simply we have to create a display ad for our dynamic for our remarketing and this will run in the display network so the first thing what you require here is the landing page so you can give your URL over here and you can also add an image to this the system will try to pick some images from your website and if you find with that you can go ahead and use those or else you can also add your Facebook page and it will try to scan that as well and try to get some images otherwise you can also go to the stock images and you can put your URL over there and get some images from there. You can select the most appropriate one, attach it to the ad and give the rest of the content in this particular manner. So now my image is getting added to this specific ad and here I can start giving the details. Fill up the information as much as you can guys it increases the probability of your of people clicking on our ads. You can give the long headline as well and also the other descriptions. In this specific manner, you can give the business name as well. You can see this is how the ad is going to look like on a mobile device. And if you go to the desktop version, you can find the ad over there as well. and then you can go ahead and add this to the ad group so now we are coming to the end of the campaign creation so this will be my display remarketing campaign which I have created right now once you go inside the campaign now you can see this is my campaign which is ready and this is the ad group which I have created and the ad which has gone under review once Google approves this ad within one business day the campaign can go live this will be the preview of the ad how the ad is going to look like 
and if you want to see the remarketing which we did today in this campaign you can find it in the audience section on the left if you want to make changes to it you can do that you can add more audiences if you want you can do that as well so this becomes my display remarketing in the same manner what i'm going to do is we're going to create a search campaign and apply the same thing to create a search remarketing campaign so we start the process by creating a new campaign and again i'm going to choose the goal as sales and this time my campaign type will be search i can give the website visits as my option to reach my goal and i can give my business url and we start filling up the details once again now this time it is going to be search specific so you can give the name in that particular way and this is happening in the networks which is only in search you can give your location targeting in the same manner what we did in display the language targeting as well can be done in the similar manner and now here in audiences you can see it says select audiences to add to your campaign so we follow the same process we can go to browse and it will give us an option for remarketing how they have interacted with your business and here you can see the same remarketing list or the audience list we created in the beginning of the session so i'm linking it to this search campaign to run search remarketing and then i continue with the campaign creation process as usual which is i'm going to give the budget for the search campaign and set a bidding strategy since again we are looking at sales so let's keep it as maximize conversions and then you can continue with the rest of the piece which is we can set up the ad group give the keywords and create our ad so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to name this ad group and these are some keywords which the system is suggesting me based on the website url i have given i don't need to go ahead with all the keywords i can choose the ones which i want to have and i can keep it or i can add my own keywords in this specific manner and then i can save and continue and we are coming to the ad creation process so here as you can see this will be an expanded text ad which we are creating so we start giving the details over here one by one give as much information as you can guys it would help to increase the clicks on the ads So now I have created the text ad. You can see the preview of how the ad is going to look like on a mobile device and here it is how it is going to look on desktop. You can save this and if you want to create more you can repeat the process once again. You can now save and continue. And we are coming to the end of the campaign where you can just see the summary of what we have done. This is a search campaign which we have built. and we can go ahead and publish this so now this will be a search remarketing campaign which we have created you can see the text ad which we have built in this so this will be my text ad running in the search network and which has gone under review once it gets approved by google the campaign can go live in this simple manner guys we can create a remarketing campaign for both our search and display network in google ads I hope this content was useful and you were able to understand how to build remarketing campaign in Google Ads. If you have any questions guys feel free to write in the comment section and I would be happy to help you out with that. Thank you so much guys.